Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a highly, highly requested one. I'm going to talk about all my favorite ColourPop products. You guys know that I've been doing like a makeup stash series here on my channel where I show you guys all my blushes and bronzers and I'm going through my entire collection and a lot of you guys are like, hey, when you spoke about blushes, you didn't speak about any of the ColourPop ones and things like that because I was planning on doing this whole ColourPop video. I'm not going to show you every single ColourPop item I own. I'm going to show you what I think are the best ones and I think that this video would be more helpful that way. So these are literally my favorite ColourPop products. I'm going to link ColourPop's website down below. This video is not sponsored. You know that I work really closely with ColourPop since I created my own lippy sticks and eyeshadows. So they always like send me goodie bags of their new products and stuff like that. But if you saw my first ever ColourPop video, I swatched a bunch of lippy sticks on my mouth. I had purchased like half of those things. I actually made it a point to only show you guys things that are currently permanent because there are a couple of eyeshadows that I really love but they were from collections that are either leaving really soon or already left like a lot of the Christmas things so all the products I'm going to be sharing with you guys are available right now for you to purchase if you want to or for you to check out they're not limited edition or anything like that oh and before I get started I know I keep rambling but before I get started I want to tell you guys that for a limited time actually let me check the date I know that it's the 19th already, but I have told you guys this on Instagram and Twitter. If you don't follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you should because I update you guys on certain things all the time. So starting June 15th, which was Monday, all the way through June 30th, the last day of this month, I have a coupon code to share with you guys. So for 15 days only, um, you can use the coupon code Kathleen Lights all in lowercase and it gives you $5 off your entire order, which doesn't seem much, but it's a free eyeshadow or a free lippy stick or free shipping if you're in the US. So do not forget to use that coupon code before you can't anymore. So before the 30th of this month, all lowercase, don't forget. And I cannot wait for ColourPop to start shipping completely internationally, like to the UK and everything. Right now it's just the US and then like New Zealand and Australia for now, I think. So yeah, take advantage of the coupon code now. Let's get on with the video. Okay, so in my opinion, the creme de la creme of ColourPop lies within their eyeshadows and their lippy sticks. I think those are the top-notch products that they have. Okay, so let's get started with lippy sticks. I have six to share with you guys. I have so many of their lippies, but these six are my all-time favorite. And keep in mind, guys, that this is just my opinion. You might not like some of these colors. You might not like some of the eyeshadows I'm going to show you. Maybe they don't look good against your skin tone, but these are just my favorite products. I'm not going to be swatching these on my lips because it's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy, but I plan on doing a full lip swatch video with all of the lippies I own, and I own like literally like 45 or 50. It's insane, but I'm going to split it up like in two days, and I'm going to swatch all of the ones I own on my lips because I think it would be a cool video, and I think you guys would enjoy it, but these are my six favorite ones. This one is in the shade Cookie. It's a matte finish. The matte finishes are definitely hands down my favorite finishes that ColourPop has. I like it because it's not straight up brown. It has like a pinky undertone. It's perfect for every day. These smell phenomenal. I love the way that these lippy sticks smell. I'm not going to be talking about lippy pencils like their lip, their matching lip liners because each lippy stick comes with its matching lip liner and their lip liners are great. So, you know. But anyway, I love this color for every single day. It's beautiful. It actually was in a limited addic addiction. It was actually in a limited edition set, but everybody loved it so much that they decided to keep it permanent. And I'm so glad that they did. My next favorite is this one. And this one is called Lumiere. And I love it. I am a little biased because this is the lip color that I created with ColourPop. It's a really pretty purpley mauve. But not too purple. It's not like a purple. It's like a mauve-ish, dusty color. Really like it. I think it looks so pretty on so many of you. I just wanted to mention it because it's really beautiful and I think it's good. It's definitely one of my favorites. But I mean, can you blame me? Of course it's one of my favorites. So this next color I'm obsessed with. It's also a matte finish and it's in the shade Tootsie. I love this because it's a nude, but it's like a grayish. It has like a mauve undertone, almost gray. It's like a nude that's almost like a gray. I don't know why I'm doing this, but it's like a purplish gray. One of those nudes that I think is really, really on trend right now. Okay, so this is my all-time favorite one. Like out of all the 48 or however many I have, 
This is hands down my all time favorite lippy from ColourPop. It's probably one of my favorite lipsticks in the entire world. Oh my god, I realized that all of these are matte. Oh wow, all of the lippies I'm sharing with you are matte. I'm so, so sorry. It's just that the matte ones are my favorite because they're not drying and they almost don't even feel like a matte. They kind of have a little bit of a shine to them. Not a shine, but they're just so comfortable. They're like the creamiest mattes ever. But anyway, this is in the shade Click and I love this because it's a really pretty vibrant red with an orange undertone. I've worn it so many times it looks like I barely touched it. But I love it. It's perfect for the summertime because it has like that hot tamaliness to it. It's so like spicy and you know, I love this lipstick. This one is a really fun one, but I find that it is super, super long wearing. All of these are, but I was so impressed the first time I used this that it's definitely one of my favorites. This one's called Grind. Again, a matte finish, and it's a really vibrant, like, purple, but almost in like a neon way. It's super eye-catching, so if you're not into like flashy lip colors, you will not like this, but if you want a vibrant purple, then this is the one to go for. And then, this is another one that I am so obsessed with. This one is amazing. This one's called Frenchie. It's matte, and it's the lipstick I am wearing right now. It is a true fire truck engine neon red a true freaking um, it's amazing it is i love reds like this where they're just like they look like neon almost it's vibrant it's beautiful and if you're into red lips frenchie will be your girl it doesn't make your teeth look yellow so those are the six lippies i highly recommend that really 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 have not let me down all right so now i'm going to talk about highlighters because ColourPop makes amazing highlighters I have four to share with you. They have a ton of different colors. And what I love is that they have a bunch of different highlighters for different skin tones. Like there's even a highlighter that looks like a straight up blush on my skin, like a dark blush because obviously it's too dark for me. So it would be perfect for deeper skin tones. These are four of my personal favorite. You cannot go wrong with these. I'm gonna start with my favorite one. This one is so beautiful. This one is called Lunch Money, it is the one that I've used the most out of all of the ColourPop highlighters. It's a beautiful white gold. Like when you apply it to your skin, it reflects so much of that pale gold. Like your cheeks look really, really intense and almost wet looking. My favorite way to apply ColourPop highlighters is with a sponge, by the way. Like I just like sponge it on like do, 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 and yeah. This next one is called Wisp. And I feel like the majority of the people would really, really love this color. It's the highlight I am wearing on my cheekbones right now. It's intense. It's amazing. All of these ColourPop highlighters are intense, which is how I like them, but they're buildable. You can actually apply a really soft, like, layer to the skin. Wisp is a beautiful gold that does have kind of like a bronzy undertone. So it's not like pale. It's not like a very, like, bright color. It's just a beautiful gold. I love it. I love it. These last forever on the skin as well. Like these highlights, like once they set, like they are on my face forever. Another one I love is Smoke and Whistles. This one is super, super intense though. Like I only recommend this for like light, medium to fair skin tones. It's that intense. Even more intense than um, Lunch Money. And while Lunch Money has that pale gold to it, this one has more of like a light champagne color. Like almost a little bit pinkier. This one is another one that I love when I am tan. It just looks so pretty on my skin tone when I'm a little bit tanner. It's called Butterfly Beach. It's actually not super intense, it's not crazy, it's a little bit more subtle than the other ones I showed you, but like with a tan it just reflects like a really nice bronzy peachy glow to the cheeks. Okay, so those were my favorite highlighters of the bunch. I love the highlights, they're intense and they're amazing. Definitely try out the highlights if you're in to that like, whoa, Jennifer Lopez kind of highlight. So I don't have any of the bronzers to share with you today. I recently got the bronzers and I haven't like used them enough to tell you like, okay, these are really good or they're not so good. I have to use them a little bit more. I've only used like one of the shades a couple of times. So I don't even know if the other ones like are as good. I just don't know. So I will update you on the bronzers a little bit later. Since I don't have a favorite, I don't want to lie and be like, oh, this one's good. I don't have a favorite bronzer, so I didn't include it. Okay, so before I get into the eyeshadows, because I have a few to talk about, I'm going to show you my favorite blushes. And coincidentally, I also have four favorite blushes. This one is in the shade Trickery. It's a really, really soft peach. This looks so pretty in the springtime. For some reason, 
I am obsessed with the way that these smell. They don't even smell like... They don't smell like... I don't know. I really like it. It's like a peachy pink. Looks really nice in the springtime and in the summertime. It just makes... It just gives your face like a nice soft peachy touch because it's not too intense. It's not crazy over the top, but you could definitely build it up. My favorite way to apply these is also with a beauty blender or actually my all time favorite way is with this brush right here. This is from Morphe. It's their E34. I like it because it works really well with cream products. Even though this is not a cream, this is like a moussey texture. It works really well. And I like to tap this product on my cheek. I have noticed with these blushes, they don't work extremely well if you're trying to like blend it in like a regular blush. Because of the formula, it works best if you just like tap it on your cheek. If you tap it on your cheek, you get the perfect color payoff and the perfect finish. It's not splotchy or anything. So yeah, I love trickery and this is a satin finish. By the way, all of the highlighters I mentioned are pearlized finishes. This next one is really similar to Trickery, only like a few shades darker. This one is in the shade Bonus. It's a true peach, but more of a darker peach. I really love warmer colors. I love peach blush. This one's a matte finish, and it just looks stunning with like a chocolatey, smoky eye. It's beautiful. This next one is probably my favorite, 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 favorite out of all of them. It's called Between the Sheets. It's a matte finish, and it's just like a true nude. Almost has a little bit of a mauve kind of undertone. It's the blush I'm wearing on my cheeks right now. I don't know if you can tell. For some reason, on camera, you can't tell as much as in person, but it's so beautiful. This color, of course, pairs with every single makeup look. And then my last favorite is Birthday Suit. This one is kind of like a nude as well, but it's more of a purpley, pinky nude. It's not too intense, is what I'm trying to say. It's a satin finish, so it has a little bit of a sheen to it. Not much, but it just pairs well with cool tone looks because of that purplish kind of undertone. I really like it. Those are my favorite highlighters. Mm. Those are my favorite blushes. The ones that I actually grab more than any of the other ones I own. Now let's talk about eyeshadows, which is my other favorite thing from ColourPop besides their lippy sticks. So I really couldn't narrow it down to like not even five. I'm gonna talk about 10 eyeshadows. And while I love all of ColourPop's other matte stuff, I find that their like glittery or like shimmery eyeshadows are amazing. I really love their matte ones as well. A lot of people complain that they can't really blend them out. But if you use a synthetic brush, you can blend it out. The matte ones are not hard to work with. I actually really love using my ColourPop shadows with this Zoeva brush. It's their concealer buffer. You just need like one of those like synthetic brushes and they work. So remember, I am only talking about eyeshadows that you can get separately. Um, I'm not talking about any eyeshadows that come in a kit or in a quad, so I'm not going to be showing you like my Where the Light Is eyeshadows or anything like that. These are just individual eyeshadows you can purchase for $5 each. Let's talk about my all-time favorite. And it is in the shade Sequin and it's a metallic finish. This is a true rose gold. I'm almost about to hit pan on this. It's so intense. It's really metallic, but it kind of has little bits of glitter in it as well. This shines on the lid like no other. And the rest are in no particular order. I love all of these the same. It is also kind of a rose gold funny to think about. It's called Lala. And even though it is like a rose gold as well, um, Sequin is a little bit more pink with like glitteriness to it. It's a rose gold that pushes more pink and glittery. This one is a little bit more gold and it is a ultra metallic finish. So it's like a complete sheen on the lid. It's actually the eyeshadow I'm wearing right now on top of a different eyeshadow. It's a uh, beauty mist, I love this one. This one is called On The Rocks and it's actually the eyeshadow I am wearing underneath Lala right now. It's just a pure chocolatey bronze with a ton of gold glitter throughout it. It's a metallic finish. It just looks stunning when you pack it on the lid. Like you really have to pack this one on to get the full glittery metallic finish. But when you do, it's chocolatey, it's delicious. This one is actually a matte finish and it's my favorite matte eyeshadow from ColourPop. It's actually one of my favorite eyeshadows ever. It's called Mittens and I actually did a whole video on like a whole tutorial using just this eyeshadow on my lid once. It's a unique brown to me. Like to me, I don't have any other eyeshadow that looks like this because it's like 
dark chocolatey brown, but it has a purpley undertone. A little purple, a little red of an undertone, I don't know. The finish is really, really beautiful. I like it because if you apply a really soft layer, you really get that like purpley red look, but if you pack it on, it gets like even chocolatier. So it's, it's beautiful. I actually have this on my lower lash line today and on my outer V of the eye a little bit. This one is another one that I literally, actually I have, I have a hit pan on this. You can barely tell, but I have, this one is called Smash. And I actually don't even know the finish of it because it doesn't say it. It was one of the first ColourPop eyeshadows I ever got. It's a really pretty soft, taupey gold. A lot of people will look at this and be like, oh, there's not much to this eyeshadow. But I disagree. This is one of those colors that look amazing as a wash of color. Like, just put this on your entire lid all the way up to the crease, even blend it in the crease a little bit because it's not metallic-y, it's not glittery, it's just a sheen, like a true sheen. This one is a fun one that I actually really love. I don't do too many colors on my lids that much, but this one is good. This one's called Bay, and it's blue in some lights, but then it's purple in other lights. It is a metallic finish. I love the metallic finishes, I guess. When you apply it on the lid, the blue glitter really, really stands out. You gotta pack it on the lid, but when you do, the blue glitter stands out. It looks beautiful under like a blue base or a purple base. It's one of those fun, clubbing, or like smoky, colorful eyeshadows. It's so pretty. This one is another matte one that I really love. This one's called Play, and I love this because it's like a true khaki. It's like a tannish, orangey kind of tan. It's the color I have in my crease today, like, this is such a beautiful transition shade when you're dealing with really warm eyeshadows. I highly recommend Play. This one is Get Lucky. It's one of my first ColourPop eyeshadows as well. It's a true, pure, metallic, intense gold. There's no other way to put it. It's an ultra metallic finish, which means it's even more sheeny, more, like, intense. And this is a straight up gold, which is why I like it. It's a true gold. It's not too bronzy, it's not too yellow, it's not like a yellowy gold, it's just a gold. If you're into cranberry colors, you will love this, like reddish colors, you know, I am. I love warm neutrals, if you already can't tell. This is in the shade Drift. It's a pure, pure cranberry shade. It's a paralyzed finish. So it's not gonna be like metallic or too intense. You could even apply this really lightly to the crease because it doesn't have a ton of glitter, but it looks beautiful all over the lid. It's a perfect holiday eyeshadow. I love this during like Thanksgiving, like October, November, December. I love it during the holidays. It's such a beautiful cranberry shade. Then my last favorite is another like must have in my opinion. It's called Game Face. A lot of people have asked me if it's similar to Kathleen Lights, but this one is a lot more orange. This is like a true orange with a little bit of gold. Kathleen Lights does have that orange undertone, but this one is like orange, which I love that about it. It's beautiful. So that completes this video. This is probably a 30 minute video. I am so sorry that this video is so long, but there are so many ColourPop products and I wanted to share the ones that I love the most with you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to use that coupon code Kathleen Lights in all lowercase to get $5 off. Thank you guys so much for watching your word Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.